Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And our topic for this week is about the density optimizer. And this is a great tool if you just want to lighten off or add a little bit of density to an embroidery design, you can simply add kind of less or more by percentage. And so let's go ahead and make my embroidery screen nice and big, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So first of all, the tool is up here on your workspace. Um, it's in this kind of red tool group. It's over on the right side. It says density optimizer. And currently it's dim or not brightly lit, which means um, I would need to do something before I can use it. Um, in this case, that means I need to select some embroidery uh, and then the tool becomes available. And when you select the embroidery, it could be the entire embroidery design um, or you can just do part of a design. You know, you can use this tool to just lighten one color of a design by selecting just that one color from within your sequence area. Um, or you can just select on all items, you know, to select the entire design. But whatever you have selected, when you click on the tool up here at the top, a little window opens up. It says override density. So this is whatever density every single part of the design has, you can adjust by satin density, by pattern density, by fill run length, and by run stitch run length. So in other words, if a pattern fill is, you know, the issue, you want to make your pattern fills less dense, uh, instead of 100, put in 80% and then click apply. Or if if you if you wanna make the satin density also lighter, make that 80 or maybe 90, you know, not quite as light, but a little lighter, you know, and whatever you want. And same thing with the run links, you could make your fill run link longer, maybe 110 or something, um, or your, you know, run stinch is long. You can make them a whole twice as long, make it 100% um, longer, so 200. And whatever numbers you choose, when you click OK, the software will update everything in your design by that percentage or amount. And so all of my run stitches are getting longer. All of my density is getting more open. And just notice that um, the design density went down. So here, maybe I can hit undo and show that originally it was 1,400 or sorry, 14,513. And when I added the density optimizing that number went down and it's now 13,006. And so that is a great tool to be able to just simply lighten up a design. It won't change the underlay or the way it sews, just lighten up the fills. Um, you may want to use that with your store-bought designs. Um, and then there's one extra step involved. So here, for example, is uh, like a little PES embroidery design. You'll notice if you look in the sequence view, everything says that they're stitches. Um, so what I need to do first is convert those stitches into outlines. I simply right click over top and choose convert to outlines. And that will, uh, the software will read these stitches and interpret them and create filled in shapes. Um, so if you look here and it says it's got 1,481 stitches, if I select everything, and then now if I use my density optimizer, and even if I just make my satin density and my fill density 80% less and click OK, um, we'll watch the stitch count go down. You know, now it's 1,295. And you can um, sort of see the rows of stitches getting, uh, in this case, further apart when I made it less density than when I made it, you know, a little more density. So that's the density optimizer. And we hope you enjoyed this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. Until next week, thanks for listening and bye for now.